Hi, and welcome to Introduction to Physics online course. My name is Mike Mikhail. I am a Euro professor for this semester. What you're looking at is our home page where you find things like announcements, syllabus, faculty information, Blackboard Support Center, discussion board, lab report sample, online labs, using Excel to plot a graph, my office hour, live lecture, PowerPoints, and the units that we're supposed to do throughout the semester. You see uh, here you have 10 units, but I'm going to add up more. Uh, at the end, you're going to write an essay, and then there is a final exam. Uh, let's go over these really quick. I'm going to start with the announcements. Uh, whatever important, or I have to put something, I will uh, announce it. For example, if I have unit 1, I'm going to post like the due date for this unit. And uh, whatever information I have to tell you, I'm going to put it in the announcements. And you're going you're gonna to have uh, an email. Uh, you're going to get the email about it. Uh, the syllabus, you click on the syllabus and you open the file. You're welcome to download the file. Uh, here, you see some uh, instructions about uh, the course. Uh, my email address, mikhailm at wpunj.edu. The textbook that we are using, which is the Physics of Everyday Phenomena, 7th edition by Griffith. Uh, you're going to look at uh, the grading or the assignments that we supposed to do here. Uh, the grading is going to be based on 60% of assignments, lab work 20%, the essay is 5%, and the final exam is going to be 15%. The final exam is going to be comprehensive. Is going to be for a duration of two hours, and uh, you have to take it in the last day of the class. The assignments, uh, uh, I would uh, prefer to uh, for you to work on uh, uh, the assignments on the due date, but if you're going to submit late as submission, late, late assignments, uh, I'm going to deduct 40% uh, of your grade. Uh, once I graded the assignment, uh, I'm not going to accept any late submission. Uh, that's it with this. Faculty information. You see here is my photo. And the link here which would tell you something about myself. I graduated from the University of Texas in 1984. Uh, and I was working at the, uh, different colleges and teaching different physics courses. The Blackboard Support Center, you click on the link. If you have any problem or issues with the Blackboard, uh, for example, difficulties in uploading your assignment, uh, you could fill up the application and submit. Also, there is a person in charge of Blackboard issues. Uh, you can email that person. The uh, discussion board uh, is an important part in our course. Uh, and usually I, I, I create a forum uh, based on two things, uh, lecture discussion and lab discussion. For unit one, you're going to see that, and also same thing with unit two and other units. Uh, this is very important in our course uh, because if you have a problem or you have a question about anything, uh, uh, any topic, you could post that, and then your uh, classmates uh, are welcome to reply for, for, for your post. Also, I'm going to be here most of the times and sending you questions and uh, communicating with you. Lab report sample. This is the formal lab report sample. You open the link. You're going to see that uh, when you submit the lab report, I would like to see those followings. The objective, the method, data, the analysis of the data, and uh, error and percentage difference, uh, if you have any, uh, and the, at the end, the conclusion or discussion, which is like in a show short sentences about what you did and uh, uh, based on, on, on the lab that you did. Um, the online labs. 
most of the labs that we're gonna do is gonna be based on animation uh, and you, you're gonna see you have instructions about it so if you click here for example on this link you're gonna see the instructions and how to do the lab uh, with the animation uh, but some labs uh, are with no animation uh, for example here this is this lab is based on what you have around the house uh, so the equipment that we are gonna use is gonna be available in your house and that's how you're gonna do the lab report on this one um, the uh, use uh, well uh, using Excel to plot a graph this is some instructions on how to use Excel to plot a graph so this would help you with the online labs uh, basically because uh, the online labs usually you're gonna have a graph related to some of the experiments the office hour uh, I'm gonna be available for you from 11 a.m. to 12 noon Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays um, so you, you you free to log in and uh, uh, ask me whatever questions you have on any any topic uh, live lecture I have some live lectures here when I was teaching this course face to face uh, I, I uh, recorded some of um, I recorded some of my lectures and I posted here you can, I'm gonna post more of those uh, on, on, on the live lecture uh, PowerPoints for every chapter you're gonna have a PowerPoint about it and uh, you are free to download the PowerPoint the units, as I mentioned, you here you're gonna see 10 units. Let's go over this really quick, re unit one. This is what you're gonna see is gonna be based on conceptual questions and exercises. And then, so this is the unit, this is unit one and the lab. Uh, you're gonna have two links here, one of them for the assignments, which is based on conceptual questions and the exercises, and the other one is the lab. So let's uh, click on this unit. I'm gonna see here the date, the due date for this unit is January 11, 2013. Uh, and uh, when you do the assignment, uh, you're gonna browse your computer and you're gonna upload the assignment here using this link. Uh, the assignment that you're gonna do. Uh, it should be on uh, Word document uh, and uh, I will uh, uh, download your uh, your assignment and uh, put some comments and grade your assignments and send it back to you through the email. Uh, the essay, one of the topics you're going to choose from those topics here and you're going to write short essay about it. This is, as I said, this is going to be worth 5% of the grade. And the final test, uh, as I mentioned before, is going to open for you uh, in the last day of the, uh, of the course. And you are limited to two hours to do the final test. Uh, the final test is going to be available for the whole day, the last day of the, of the course. And once you open the final test, uh, once you start the test, you are forced to finish it within a couple hours. Uh, that's all I have, and uh, I wish you good luck and a happy semester, and thank you for watching.